Hello and welcome to another video of our new Gund fluid line series, Fundamentals of Fluid Mechanics. In today's video we are going to take a closer look at Bernoulli's principle. For an overview of our entire program and its general features and benefits, make sure to check out our introductory video for this series first. Before we're getting started, let's do a quick review of the theory behind the experiment. In addition to the actual physical experiment, Gunt has developed a comprehensive e-learning course about the fundamentals of fluid mechanics. This course is completely free of charge for you and your students. Feel free to use this material as you like in your teaching. When you look at Bernoulli's equation, it looks a bit daunting at first, but it is really just about energy conservation, only that it is expressed in pressure. Bernoulli's equation states that the total pressure of a fluid in motion stays constant regardless of any constrictions the fluid passes through and the resulting changes in velocity. The total pressure consists of three parts, the static pressure, the hydrostatic pressure, and staying with the energy analogy, this is akin to potential energy, and the dynamic pressure, similar to kinetic energy. Looking at our experiment, there is no height difference on either end of the Venturi nozzle. So the hydrostatic pressures on either side of the Bernoulli equation are the same and can therefore be cancelled. Now the equation becomes a lot more simplified and it becomes pretty obvious that when the velocity goes up, the pressure must come down. Let's see how that looks like in our experiment. Of course, as with any experiment in a laboratory environment, the students should familiarize themselves with the theory behind the experiment, as well as with the operating procedures for the respective unit. One of the great advantages of the HMI of the fluid line is that this content is displayed in an interactive way. Thanks to the Wi-Fi capability, this content can be displayed on up to 10 separate units individually. This is the home screen under the info section of the HMI. When you choose fundamentals, you get an introduction to the theory behind Bernoulli's experiment. Terms like total pressure, static, hydrostatic and dynamic pressure, gravitational acceleration and density are explained. On the following pages, the relationship between the flow velocity of a fluid and its pressure is explained. With loss-free flow, energy can be transferred from one form to another. This is expressed in Bernoulli's formula. The flow velocity and its profile are entirely dependent on the cross-section through which the flow passes. This is explained in the description of the actual experiment. When we want to conduct the experiment, we select the individual unit from the movable storage system, take it out, and as you can see it's very light, and place it straight on top of the HM250 base unit. In order to set everything up properly, we simply follow the on-screen experiment setup instructions. As you can see here, we have done this once or twice and we are getting rather good at it. But don't rush when you do this and make sure that all hoses are connected as shown on the screen. After the unit has been set up, we can start the experiment. The learning objective is to demonstrate how energy can be transferred from one form to another. For this, we measure the total pressure inside the Venturi nozzle with this movable pitot tube. At the same time, we measure the static pressures with these hose connections at various locations. To start the experiment, we choose Experiment Overview from the menu on the left. Now we can adjust the pump capacity and switch the pump on. When the flow has stabilized, which we can see here on the screen, we change to the next screen for measuring the pressures in the Venturi nozzle. After we have positioned the pitot tube at the respective location, we activate the location in the overview and press the plus button to record the measurement. We do this for the static pressure and the total pressure. Then we repeat this for all other locations along the Venturi nozzle. As with all experiment in our Gunt fluid line series, you can take screenshots at any time using the screenshot button here. Now that we have taken all the measurements, 
we can see from the graph that the total pressure remains fairly constant with a downward trend. This is due to pressure losses because of pipe friction within the Venturi nozzle. In the following evaluation, we will calculate the theoretical velocities from the measurement data for the flow volume and the respective cross-section area of the Venturi nozzle, as well as the dynamic pressures. After importing the experiment data, it may look like this. For the purpose of this video demonstration, let's focus on one particular measurement, let's say at position 2 of the Venturi nozzle. We now calculate the mean velocities by simply dividing the measured flow rates by the cross-section areas like this. For position 2, we get a mean velocity of 1.67 meters per second. We do this for all other positions and add these values to our data table. The dynamic pressures along the Venturi nozzle can be calculated quite simply as the difference between the measured total and static pressures like so. These dynamic pressures can also be added to our data table. From these dynamic pressures, we can now calculate the theoretical values for the flow velocities by mathematically converting the formula for the dynamic pressure like so. For our dynamic pressure at position 2, for instance, we get a theoretical velocity of 1.78 meters per second. After we have done this for all positions, we again add these values to our data table. Let's see how the experiment compares to the theory and voila, not too bad. The deviations you see are mainly caused by the internal flow profile inside the Venturi nozzle. And by the way, Gunt has a very nice experiment investigating flow profiles within the fluid line series. As a side note, the Bernoulli experiment from Gunt is the only unit on the market where you can actually reverse the direction of the Venturi nozzle to conduct a whole series of further investigations into Bernoulli's principle. As you have seen, the Gunt fluid line series is the perfect vehicle to demonstrate through robust, repeatable results the theory behind fluid mechanics. Only the Gunt fluid line offers a complete solution, including remote access with digital data acquisition, as well as a comprehensive e-learning course. We hope you enjoyed this short video about one of the experiments within our Gunt fluid line series. For further information, please visit www.gunt.de.